please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Woody versus Wilson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Woody, you are here today desperate to learn if you are the biological father of the defendant's son. You were initially convinced he's yours, and you even gave him your name. Yes, Your Honor. Michael Woody Jr. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Wilson, you confess you slept with another man at the time of conception, though you honestly can't be sure who fathered your child, We're hoping today's results will give you that answer. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Woody. Yes. You were at a crossroads. You've fallen in love with the baby, yes. even though you really don't know if he's your biological child. Yes, Your Honor. Please, explain to the court. Well, I have a three-year-old daughter already, so when I found out I was having a son, I was excited because what man doesn't want to have a junior, you know? So I got plans made, you know, I'm ready to go play baseball and basketball with them and, you know, all the stuff a father's supposed to do with a son. So I'm, I'm just ready, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to be a, a father to a boy now. You so know. you're already having the visions of they, they everything you're going to do. Baseball, they, basketball, every, first haircut. Everything. You got it in your mind. You no love haircut. this baby. No haircut. No haircut? Oh, no haircut? No haircut. Yeah. Oh, let me see how long yours is. All right, yeah, that would be a no haircut. Um, so you love the baby. Yes. Yes. I thought, I thought that was it, you know? But come to find out, you know, I have my doubts about if he's mine or not. Because... You and Ms. Wilson are not in a relationship. You know that there is a strong possibility... Yes. ...that this child could be someone else's. Yes. And you're worried that yeah. this baby that you now love won't be in your life. Exactly. We understand the stakes are high. It's easy to fall in love with a child. And no person that has fallen in love with a child wants to see that child leave their life. We understand that. <laughs> Ms. Wilson, you two have concerns? Yes. Talk to me a little bit about the circumstances that got you all here today. When I met Mr. Woody, I was walking down the street with my friend. We were drunk, and we were going up to the store. And he was in the apartment complex, holding, you know, with his daughter in a stroller, and he said, you're cute. And I was like, oh, you're cute, too. So he walked to the store. And we walked back to my friend's house. We had intercourse. Okay. <laughs> so, I have to ask you this. Was he the only man you were intimate with during that time? No, Your Honor. Okay. So, respectfully, how many other men were there? Just one. Okay. So... Mr. Woody, that, of course, substantiates the doubt you feel. Yes. Because Ms. Wilson is honest. Yes. I, I wasn't just intimate with you. How did you find out she was pregnant? She sent me a message on Facebook, Your Honor. Facebook. Okay. Could, I, I guess she couldn't find me, so she sent me a no, message on no, Facebook. It, no, 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 okay. no, no. How it happened? It's not because I couldn't find her. It's because he left. Uh-oh. Pardon let's, me. Let's, I'm let's sorry. Get court I apologize. Language. Tell me, though. Well, I actually found out I was pregnant. I kept taking pregnancy tests, Your Honor, and they all kept coming back negative. So I went to my doctor, and um, I got a blood test. And a week after that, she called me while I was cooking dinner, and she's like, Miss Wilson, I just want to let you know that your pregnancy test came back positive. And so I was like, just my whole world just took a standstill, because I wasn't, I wasn't ready to have a child at all. I sent a message, and I just said that I was pregnant, basically. And did he respond right away? No. Mr. Woody? The girl that I was dating was responding to the messages that she was sending me. Jerome, let me see that. What, what evidence is this you're presenting? Um, I have a couple of pieces of evidence here. I got the picture of me and my son, and I have the picture... I have the messages from Facebook. So this is a message from Davina Wilson. I'm pregnant. So I hope you know we're getting a DNA test when the baby's born and I'm hitting you up with this child support. I'll see you in court. That's red. That, that's your first... You're Hello. gonna be a father? Hello. Way harsh, Miss Wilson. What, what did you think? I didn't know anything of it until a few days later, until after my birthday, when I tried to go home to my girlfriend 
And she's like, look at your Facebook. You got somebody pregnant right now. And I'm like, shut up. No, I don't. And she's like, yeah, you do. Now, do you believe it was his girlfriend answering you back, or do you think it was him? Honestly, I don't think it was his girlfriend. Your Honor, if you could read the text message, if you could read the messages, that is clearly a grown woman speaking in that. Uh, that is not no man speaking in them messages. Too many words, right? Way too many. <laughs> so, Ms. Wilson, when you get a message back, what does the message say? The first message I got back was, I think he said, the B word, you're lying or something like that. And I, I honestly thought it was him. And so, when I got that message, Your Honor, I'm like, okay. So, I, I basically went off. Like, you know, I, all I want is your money. Point blank, period. So you wanna you wanna leave me in the cold? You wanna you know let me get pregnant and do this by myself? Then you gonna pay me some type of child support? You gonna help me take care of my your child? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So now, was that your last communication with her, or did she reach out to you again? I actually I came back to Vacaville and. I ran into her, you know, because I knew it was a possibility that, you know, the baby was mine, but I know I wasn't the only one, but I know I played a part in making this baby. So, <laughs> I didn't want to leave her stuck. I wasn't going to leave her, you know, to raise no child on her own. So, Ms. Wilson, you say there's another guy. Did you also send a message to him? No. <laughs> so, you never told the other guy you were pregnant? No. So why you why did you just single out Mr. Woody because if there was another guy? While, while I was sleeping with Mr. Woody, I you know I had sex with my boyfriend and everything. He was the last person I initially had intercourse with. So the last time I had intercourse, it was with Mr. Woody. Okay, but you do know that it doesn't matter who's first and who's last. It's about the window of conception, right? <laughs> were were they both in the window of conception? Yes, Your Honor. So, what happened when the baby was born? Like, throughout the pregnancy, were you, were you present? Did you go to any doctor's appointments with her? I came back, and, you know, I went to the 3D ultrasound pictures with her, and I was there, and then he was born. I was there. You, know? you were there when he was born? I was there. I cut the umbilical cord and everything, you know, so... And then tell me about the birth. Oh, was man. it a bonding experience for you both? It was. It was very painful because he died at birth, so... We had to sit there and watch my son just be lifeless. And it hurts, you know, just to even watch that for anybody, whether you know the child or not. And know. so for what you're saying is for a few moments. Five minutes, about five minutes. I had to bring him back. They were and, about... and they brought him back. Brought him back. He oh, that's amazing. <laughs> a miracle, a miracle. So I'm sure as you all were there together, witnessing literally a miracle happen, your Honor, I was actually surprised he came. I was just in the hospital by myself. You know, I was being induced, and I'm just trying to figure out, okay, who's gonna come, you know, what, help me watch my son be born, and then nobody came. And then he came, I think, when I started having my contractions. When it's time to sign the birth certificate, do you sign? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. With pride, yes. My first son is gonna be a junior. There's no other, hey, no. He's a junior. He has to have all of me. When does the doubt set back in? Okay, so... Her sister, you know, I'm at, I'm at one of my friend's uh, wakes. You know, he had just passed away. So, mm -hmm. you know, we at the wake or whatever. And I see her sister. I'm good friends with her uh, son's father. So, you know, we start talking to whoop, whoop, and... Uh, she comes up to me like, Mike, you, or you need to, I think you should go get a DNA test, you know? Your Honor, that is a lie. That's, that's not how it happened. She didn't just come up to him and say, Mike, I mean, Mr. Woody, you need to get a DNA test, no. So the truth is, after this amazing, miraculous birth, you knew in your mind you still needed to get a DNA test. And even, even right, before Honor. that, before that, I would seen her stand in the apartment complex with two dudes. So, you know, they all go their separate ways. So the dude come back, one of the dudes come back by itself. So I stop him like, hey, bruh, you feel me? Is she pregnant? And he like, yeah, by my brother. Whoa. So that's another reason why I feel the way that I feel because ain't no, 
I'm not finna claim no kids that ain't mine. So I don't think anybody else is neither. After that happened, that's when he went MIA. So after you heard from this guy coming down the street, you just backed off. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. Yeah. Meaning, one day you think you're the father, the next day you don't know if you're the father. Exactly. Then you back in town thinking you're the father, then the guy comes down the street and says you're not the father. Then you disappear, you think you're not the father. Then you come back to the hospital, to now you're the father. father to be the father. And you sign the birth certificate. Now you leave the hospital and the doubt starts setting in. Yes. Again. Yes. Are people talking to you? Are they in your ear? Or are you just looking at the baby and feeling like this baby doesn't look like me? Or is Miss Wilson saying to you, you know we got to get the DNA test? What happened? Well, she's always said that to me out the gate. She's always said, we need a DNA test. We're going to get it. She's said that to me out the gate. So that wasn't anything new to me. But then she also told me out of her own mouth that her, some, her friends or her family is saying that my son looked like her ex-boyfriend. Oh. You know, but that's even more of a reason, like... And you submitted pictures to the court. Yes, Your Honor. That's you on the left side and Michael Jr. on the right. Yes. And when you look at the baby, you see yourself in him? I do see some similarities. I do. I do. How about you, Ms. Wilson? Do you see similarities? I don't really know who he looks like. To be honest with you. He looked like her, if you ask me. He looked... I definitely see the resemblance He looked like her. Miss Wilson. It's hard for Do me to find myself in Do you think your son there. also has a resemblance to your ex? Um... No. You don't see much? No. No. Well, this is complicated. Matters of the heart, Mr. Woody, it's a special thing. And a beautiful baby like that... Yeah. It's easy to fall in love, yeah. to be attached, and want to be there for that child in the right way. And you've done that. And, you know... <laughs> and, look, what are your hopes? I hope that he's mine. I do. I want him to be mine. I want him. Yeah. I want him. Who doesn't... Who wouldn't want him? Look at him. Who, who wouldn't want him? I want him. I take care of mine as much as I can. You know, I don't have the, all the money in the world, but I'm always there for my daughter, so he's gonna get the same love that she has. Period. And what are your hopes, Miss Wilson? I just want my son to have a father. I know. <laughs> It's important to you, right? It really is. <laughs> I mean, I can't teach my son how to be a man. So... I will. I will. He loves him so much. He does. He gets all... When he cries with me, I'll call Mr. Woody, and instantly, when he hears his voice, he stops. My boy. It's my boy. And do you call Mr. Woody his dad? Your daddy? Yes. You send me a picture about every day, you know, new outfit, and it's like he's mine. And I, I, I just, I really, I need to know, you know, the truth if he's really mine so I can get all these other nobodies out of my mind and I could raise my son correctly the right way. Well, I think we've come to the point where it's just time to have the results. Yeah. Jerome, the envelope, please. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Woody V. Wilson, when it comes to two-month-old Michael Woody Jr. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. When it comes to two-month-old Michael Woody Jr. Mr. Woody,
You are not his father. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jerome, will you please have her sit down? Ma'am, come here. Ma'am, come, come up here and sit down. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come, on, come on, sit down. Let's sit down. Oh, my goodness. You okay? I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you had to know. You want to sit down? Please okay. Please. We're going to have some resources for you. We're going to help you just talk through this. I know this is not what you wanted to hear, but I'm sorry. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> he not his father. He looks just like him. He looks just like him. We say in the courtroom all the time, it takes DNA to be a father, but it takes love to be a daddy. You've been that. You've been that. You can continue to be that if that's what you want. That's my son, man. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What am I supposed to do? It's gonna be okay. That's my son, man. It's gonna be okay. Don't stop doing Honey. what you're doing for him. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna help you work through it, okay? Yeah. He deserves a man in his life like you, okay? Yeah. He, that's what he deserves. Okay. Doing the right thing. Listen. You really are. Keep doing it. You're a good man. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Man. <laughs> you said today, when you testified in court, that you knew you needed the DNA test. <laughs> and you knew you needed it because you knew there was a possibility. Thank like you. I know it's not the answer you wanted. I know. <laughs> but now we have to figure out how to move forward. We have aftercare available. We have Dr. Carol here. We just want, we want you to sit down and talk to her and we're gonna figure out how to move <laughs> forward because you can do it, you will do it for your baby.